Uh, we've been uh, through very different stages, but now we are really excited. We are back doing what we want to do. Hopefully, you know, we can do it in the right way and we can sustain it. So it's really important that now everybody does what is required. To get to this way of working with all the limitation we have, try to make the most out of it. I think we found the right balance. And the most important thing was to provide the players a safe environment to work where they could feel that uh, there was no risk or a very, very limited risk for them to develop their profession. I think we have managed to do that. And from that on, yeah, the physical part of it is really good, but the mental side as well, it's been a challenge over those three months. And uh, and now how, let's see how ready we are to compete. I was 15 years old and um, and we met in Barcelona, both as, as a player. And then obviously in my coaching career and in my personal life, he has an enormous influence. Um, if I have to talk about the person who he is, his values, the way he's treated me and, and how he deals with the players and, and the staff around him is it's phenomenal. And as a coach, yeah, I've learned so much from him. We spent some amazing moments together, some difficult ones as well. But uh, the experience next to him has been incredible next step in his career. In order to do that, he needs to feel valued. I think he needs to feel that he belongs to us and we want him. And then he really needs to believe that uh, we can take this club forward the way we want to do. And he's going to be a key player to do that. I think at the moment I'm extremely happy with uh, how he's been performing and behaving. I think I've got a, a really good relationship with him when we can discuss face to face a lot of things and um, so far as I'm aware I think he's very happy at the club. In a different context um, we would have liked to do the things much quicker but obviously we have been handed really tight with time and, and, and communication as well and obviously these unprecedented times brings a lot of uncertainty and these are getting clear and clear every day that we are a step closer to get back playing football and um, and we went on forward. Well, it was a really nice practice for us to get a little bit of a feeling and what it is to compete again uh, in a match, how it feels to play without any crowds, um, the protocols that we have to go through in order to be in, in a good, safe environment to compete as well. And then, yes, physically, we didn't play a game of football for over three months and uh, we wanted to get the players some minutes we managed to do that without any injuries so um, it was both a really positive test now we treated it as a, an important part of our squad uh, we had to make a very important decision not to let him go on, on loan again after the spell he had at Leeds I watched him train and I was very convinced that he's the right player for us to move us into the next level, that uh, he can contribute in a big way to the way we want to play, and uh, and he's been fantastic so far. Thanks, Cal. Thank you. Can we try George again, Mark? Yeah, I think George coming to the BBC is now able to speak to us. George. George, can you hear us or are you on mute? I think he's on mute. Can we ask him to unmute? We'll move on. We'll come back to George. Um, hopefully Ian Abrahams from TalkSport is not on mute. Yeah, I can hear you now. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> um, I first want to ask you about Roy Hodgson's comments today where he said that this whole um, expanded squads and five substitutes might give clubs a chance to blood more young talent. Now, you've already given lots of young talent um, a chance at Arsenal. Do you, do you believe that having an expanded bench and, and five substitutions we we'll, 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 might see even more young players come through in the next five or six weeks. 
I think it will happen in our, as well. Uh, for example, in our case, we have five games in 15 days, but that's a game every three days. We don't know how the players are going to respond physically because they have a really short preparation and um, there are a hundred minute games now the way we're going to play. So uh, yeah, we have to use them. We'll use them. We have some really talented young boys that uh, they're asking for chances and I'm sure all the club, the situation will be the same. And uh, I think we'll be at some stage forced to use some of them with the amount of games that we're going to be playing in, in that sort of space of time. My second question was, what have you personally learned from the restart in Germany where uh, we've seen home advantage really doesn't count for very much with no supporters in the stadium, but also maybe a few injuries. And then over the weekend, um, Italy and Spain, what have, what have you learned from, from those restarts that you can implement at Arsenal? I watch uh, some aspects that uh, we can take some advantage of, but I think you have to experience it. And we could, I could watch the games in the Bundesliga, but then when I was at the Emirates, and there is no crowd and you cannot feel that energy and that push and that drive. Yeah, the game is different. The intensity drops a little bit. I think, again, the physical state of the place is not as it was three months ago. So you can sense that as well. And that uh, urgency doesn't exist no more from the crowd and how passionate the, the crowds are in England. But uh, we have to adapt to it. But I think we have to experience it, find ways to motivate our players as well in, in moments. and. Um, and let's see how it goes. Good luck. Good on Wednesday. Can I now ask uh, Jerry Cox from Haters to come in, please? Jerry, you all mute. <laughs> I'm unmuted now. Are you? Uh, can you hear me? Okay, we can. Yes, I can do now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, it's been a three-month break. Arsenal were unbeaten domestically before in, in 2020. Do you, do you think this this break will disrupt that progress or? Do you think there's a benefit because you'll have players coming back fit, uh, although other clubs will as well? Well, I hope it doesn't. Uh, we've been working on that uh, to try to maintain, or if we can obviously improve the level that we were playing before and improve the results as well. So, um, yeah, there are some uncertainties that we don't know how we're going to respond to. But uh, what I can tell you that we have been doing as much as possible and to try to get into these moments with the best possible chance. And of course, the big prize for the end of the season for Arsenal would be the uh, qualifying for the Champions League. Do you think that's that's something that could help um, persuade Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to stay? And, and has there been any discussion about a new contract so far? I think that will help to persuade anybody, but we are very lucky to have the club that we have right behind us, that a lot of players want to come and join us. But it's not about who do we want to attract as well. It's how happy the players that are here and how convinced they are that they are at the right place. And as well, because it's our obligation almost to be fighting for every trophy and playing the Champions League with this club. And just sorry on that final point, do you know if there's been any discussion about a new contract for him yet? We have many discussions with um, Pierre, his family and his agent. and. Uh, and I'm pretty positive that uh, we can find uh, the right agreement for, for all parties. Thank you very much. Thank you. If I can come now to uh, Tuzdik Din, who's representing some of the overseas media. Hi, Mikael. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, hi, Mikael. I want to start this. Um, so I wanted to ask you, with regards to this fixture against Man City, when you came into the Emirates uh, for this reverse fixture in another role and you sensed the down mood that you talked about that day and what you inherited, there was a remarkable upturn and we saw you just narrowly lose to Chelsea in the first home game at the Emirates. 